If your current base plate looks like this and you're trying to get it to look nicer and have better lighting like this one that you see right here, well then this video is for you. Let's get started. Okay, so here I am in a new base plate and the first thing we need to do is to make sure that you know how to open the Explorer and Properties tab. So I'm going to close them to show you how to open them. So we're going to go to View and we're going to click on Properties and Explorer. And you should see these two windows pop up. Now the next step would be to get rid of the decal on the spawn location because I think it looks really, really bad. So I'm just going to get rid of it, select the spawn location, and then we're going to select the decal and hit delete. And that, now that we don't have that decal, I'm going to show you how to put a nice texture on the base plate. So if you click the link in the description, it's going to take you to this page. Well, not, not this page, but it's going to take you to these uh, textures, this model. It's free. You're going to click the get button and it should be added to your inventory. Once you do that, we're going to get rid of this and I'm going to open the toolbox. So go to home toolbox and then click on inventory and you should be able to see dev textures. We're going to drag this and put it here. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to select a nice texture that I like from these. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to hit shift and select all these textures in it and control C to copy. And I'm going to paste it in the base plate. But before we do that, we need to get rid of the current texture that we have on this base plate. So we're going to get rid of it and paste in the right click and paste into, and that's going to paste in the new texture. So the next thing we need to do is to mess around with the reflectance value on this base plate. I like having a reflectance value of 0 0.016. And I'm pretty sure that makes a little bit of a difference. Yes, it does. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a skybox that I like. So I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to type in sky. Personally, I really like this skybox called sky realistic. So I'm going to use that one and I'm going to get rid of the old skybox. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with the lighting settings. So I'm going to select lighting, the lighting tab and I'm going to change the ambient color to an ambient color that's a little purple. Of course, you can mess around with these settings however you like them, but I just I just like them like this. I'm going to go with a nice purple, something like that, and yeah, that should be good. Okay, so after changing that, the next step is going to be to mess around with the geographic latitude. So I'm going to select this property right here, and I'm going to set it to something between 70 and 80. So let me just look at the sun first. So face the sun so you can see what you're doing. And I'm going to set it to maybe 77, something like that, 78, or even 82. I'm just going to keep it at 79. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a sun rays effect. So sun rays. And as you can see, that already makes a huge difference, but it doesn't really look good. So we'll set the, in we'll lower the intensity. And I'm going to change the spread just mess around with these values however you like them. But I'm going to change the intensity to something like 0 0.05 and the spread to something like 0 0.0 or 0 0.6. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to mess around with the geographic latitude and the clock time. So the geographic latitude, I'm going to keep that at 79, but the clock time is going to be something like 16 to get this nice sunset effect with the orange lights. And one thing that you can add to make this look a little cooler, you can go here and you can add clouds. So if you go to the terrain and add clouds, uh, you get these really nice settings that you can mess around with. There's density, uh, it's just how dense the cloud is, self-explanatory, and they cover how much they cover the sky. And I just think this looks really nice. So I might keep it, but if you want to, you can mess around with the color of the base plate. So I'm gonna change it to something like or let's just go a little lighter, 71. Okay, that looks nice. Now, if we play the game, we have this nice little sunset base plate lighting. And to make this look even better, we can also add a color correction effect. And we can set the contrast to something like 0 0.2 and the saturation to something like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. And that's also going to look quite nice. If you guys like this look, then you can keep it like that. Okay, so if you want something more in the daytime, we can do this. We can change the clock time back to 14.5 and the geographic latitude to zero. So basically the default studio settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a nicer looking texture. 
So just to switch to switch things up a bit. So I'm gonna go here and delete these textures and I'm gonna get the texture from this part because I kind of like the grid material here. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to paste it in the base plate. And I'm gonna set the studs tile per uh, the studs per tile U to eight and the V1 to eight. And we're gonna change the transparency to something like 0 0.91 or 0 0.92. And we'll go on to the mo model tab and we're gonna click on the material manager and we'll just select basalt. And if we just apply it uh, to the base plate, I didn't have the base plate selected. If we just apply it, it looks really nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to change the sky a bit. So I'm going to go to the home tab, toolbox, sky, and I'm going to go with sunless sky. Point is you can just do whatever you want and you can still get this to look nice. I'm going to go to the lighting tab and I'm going to go with a more color for color. So I'm going to go with something like that, I think would look quite nice and maybe more saturation with a color correction effect. So more saturation and more contrast. And if we play the game now, I think that's a little too much contrast, but still that looks quite nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We now have this really nice lighting that you can use for your showcases. And if you guys like this video, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!